Liam, what's crack? Hi, how are you? We're here on your day off um, in the Highlands. Uh, what what do you want to do? So we could go and look for some dolphins. Look for some dolphins. dolphins. It's your day off. Let's do it. Your top scorer in the in the SPL. Are you living the dream at the minute. Uh, what? What? Second now. You're so, oh, that's Not awkward. <laughs> Is Dembele ahead of you? No, Sinclair scored at the weekend, didn't he? Oh, that's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> What the? <laughs> what is it this season? Like, is it about being injury free this season, or what is it that's seen you just? Score? I don't know. Like, I think it seems like when I check, you score every week. Yeah, I think it's like even last year, the start of the season, it just always seemed to do well. Don't know why it's about being excited for the new season or something, but yeah. and then obviously last year I got hurt, and that sort of stopped me a bit and threw me off the rails a wee bit. But this season, luckily enough, that's weird that I haven't had any sort of injuries or. But I've been playing a bit early position, like right wing and stuff, because we've sort of had to set up a bit more defensively, like at Ibrox and stuff, so you don't get as much chances and you just need to take them when they come along, but it just keeps going this year. Do you set yourself, like, a, are you someone who would, like, set yourself a target at the start of the season of, like, I want to score 20, or do you yeah. just see how it goes? Yeah, I've always, like, I've always said, like, I try and get the 10, and then, like, see whenever you get the 10. 10? Try and... Oh, like start off at 10 and then yeah, right. if you get there before Christmas then oh, right, right, brilliant right, right. and then aim for 20 from then on and then yeah. haven't got qu- quite got what's the 30 tar- yet what's the, tar- what's the target this season now? well I've started well and most of my goals have been in the league so I think I scored like 13 in the league I'd, I'd love to get 20 league goals like, just because I scored 20 last year but a couple of them were in the cup and I'd just love to get 20 league goals Over here, is it? Aye. Yeah. I think that's one over there, is it? No, I think that's a plastic bag, just. Oh, so it is. What was it like when you came up here? Because this isn't like uh, Inverness and Dingwall and all this area around here. It's not like a big city, you know, it's not like anywhere like home. Like, this is in the best possible way, it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So, uh, what was it like settling in here? What were your first, first impressions of it? Yeah, I thought, like, when I came, I literally thought it would be, like, a co-op or something, and nothing else. Like, is that, just is that the dream? You're, like, <laughs> on the phone to your agent, like, get me a club with a co-op, or I'm not going. Just as long as there's a shop. Yeah. But uh, and then when I got here, there's, like, a shopping centre. It's not on... The on rail. I, I, yeah. Is that the one I've been to? Yeah, it's not on rail, but... It's quite but No, it is. There's got, like, a couple of shops in it, like, there's top shop and stuff, you need a t-shirt. Would you say Eastgate was the retail capital of the Highlands? Yeah, but... There's actually a retail park now, and that's sort of catching up. Obviously, the Nando's open there this week. Yeah, yeah, buzzing. Been there a couple of times. Yeah. Is there anything else around here you want to do? No. What's the like record amount of dolphins you've seen in a day here? Haven't seen any. No, you never seen one. I've never been. Is there anything you particularly miss about home, or is there something you, you like you look forward to whenever you get home? Yeah, I think like just all my mates really. Like some of them have moved to China, and there's a couple of them still there. But what are your mates moving to China for? Uh, two of them. Uh, one of them's like head of a coaching academy thing, oh, and right. then he got one of my other friends a job as well. So they're right. both living there. But before they only moved like a year ago. So before that, when I was going home, it was just like the CA Emmons, but. I sort of like being here as well because it's quiet and once you go home, especially after having the kids, you're sort of running about seeing everyone. You don't get to sit in the house all day at all. Yeah. Just going one house to the next, so... Is this the way we keep? Yeah. It's sort of like you get fed up. Like you, you go home and you see everyone, you're always doing something and you just want to go back and relax again. It sounds like your mates haven't moved to China and just lying. They're like, Liam, we can't see you, mate. <laughs> China, we can't. <laughs> they just panic. Try this place. What about the food out here? Have you tried any haggis yet? No, before I came, the furthest I went. You flat out on before you came. No, I've never actually ever tried it. I just can't get my head around it. Like yeah, eating yeah. it. So you haven't. So I, I went like halfway. I think I've had black pudding. Oh, I no, never had that no. before. But it, since I came here, you get it with like scallops and stuff. Yeah. Seemed to like that, but. I don't eat that often. What about uh, Battered Mars Bar? Uh, saying that, 
We were talking about that the other day training actually. Like we're just the bother like black puddings and stuff, like and, like a bother sausage. It's only yeah. it's black pudding and red pudding and everything and right. they sell bothered Mars Mars bars, but I'd never tried one. And I was saying to the boys, like when we were in Ireland you used to have to bring your own Mars bar and the get battered, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. And then and I thought people were sort of joking when you I wasn't gonna walk into a chippy with a Mars bar like so yeah. the boys say it's really nice so maybe I'll try it soon. Can you uh, the big question is can you get a pasty here? Can you get like a proper pasty supper or No I went, it's sort of weird the chippies over here. Like the only thing nice is fish. And that's another thing. I get abused for the way I say fish. How do you say fish? Fish. Aye. Uh, so I said wrong it? Yeah yeah. You, you say, say fish. You say f- fish. Aye. Uh, anytime I say it I get shout it everywhere. Yeah. But sort of the chippies here like you ever seen you're back home and you get like a chicken burger, it's like proper chicken breast butter yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Here oh, it's yes. like bird's eye. Right, right. So I sort of stopped one of the chippies. I got one chicken burger and that was the end of that. Well now Nando's is here, you're, yeah. you're loving it. Plenty of chicken. <laughs> what about a sausage roll bap? Like would you be able to get a sausage roll bap here if you it's a people? sausage roll and roll over here. You don't call it sausage roll bap. Oh, That's right. another thing. Like a crisp, crisp and roll. It's not a what? A crisps and roll. Oh, crisps. Uh. <laughs> That's three hours, mate. Do you think we're going to see a dolphin today, or? I've seen the Loch Ness monster before. What? I've seen the Loch Ness monster before. What about? What about the beard? Like the beard was real strong for a while. I know, and now it seems to have gone yeah. away a wee bit. My missus hates it as well, but when it's long, it's sort of I think it's taken away. Like I haven't enough hair in my head as it is. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so you're making like up for it. No, I mean it's longer down here, and then it makes that look even worse. All oh, right, yeah, all oh, right. Okay. So I'm trying right, to keep it a bit good. under control. Right, right. See, around here, I, it reminds me a wee bit like Lord of the Rings, like all the mountains and stuff and the snow. <laughs> Do you ever like? dress up in the costumes like Frodo and the boys and <laughs> run about with swords or? Nah, there's a few boys in training though, probably a few small players like me, Milan and Alex, he looks a bit like Frodo as well but right. nah, we just, we're usually just driving past them and, and once you see them once or twice in the three hour drives you don't, you sort of stop looking at them, see them under. Do, uh, do the fans have any any songs about you here? Uh, there's one, I don't, it's, it's alright like I'm not gonna ask you to sing it, but gets, just tell me no, that. It's, he gets a goal. He gets a ball. He scores a goal in that one. Liam Liam Boyce. He gets a ball. He scores a goal. Liam Liam Boyce. Boyce Boyce Liam Liam Boyce. He oh, gets a right. ball. He scores a goal. That's a good one. Scores, right, but you can sort of use any name in that can't you? Snap. Yeah yeah yeah. Like, we need uh, we need an original one. I, yeah. I don't think it's something and send it over. Like have you heard the Beata one? No. Hey, boy, they were singing it to me just there now. We could have sang the Nair. But it doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. We've got Derek Bayada. It's a good one, isn't it? Right, yeah, it's decent, yeah. Sort of their rave tune, and obviously better than me singing it. You should just come up with your own and just start like spreading around the. Celebrate the and go and sing, fans, sing it yeah. to them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they join in. Here, thank God there's no police around here. I don't even have a license. What? I don't even have a license. Yeah? No. I've got a provisional, like, but. <laughs> I, I've been driving more than three years. Get the L plates up. Oh, right. How much you get the L <laughs> no dolphins there. We could stay till it dark and see the northern lights. Uh, I've to, I've to, I've to get off, mate, for my for my dinner and all. Do you, do you mind if I just drop you back? Is that all right? Yeah, that's all right. Any training gear knocking about or? No. Sweet.